you got to have a role to play in the NHL. Some guys score goals, some guys fight, but everybody's got a role. Maple Leaf winger Bill Berg has his role. It's to get under the skin of his opponents. You love Berg when he's a teammate. You hate him when he's not. Berg has become a very important member of the Maple Leafs. Quite a change from a rather inauspicious welcome to the Maple Leaf organization just over a year ago. Play a physical game. He didn't want them to sit in the pillow. It looks like Matt Burns wants to play Bill Berg, an agitating defensive forward against Adam. Oh, I, I had started the year, I was on a pretty good roll, and I thought things were going great. The morning that it happened, I packed my suit bag because we were having a practice. And then, as you know, we go from the practice right to uh, uh, the airport, and then we, we were flying out to Buffalo. And uh, we just started practice, and I, I distinctly remember going down the wing, taking a slap shot, and all of a sudden, one of the guys said, uh, Donnie Maloney wants to see you. Uh -huh, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> It looks like Pat Burns wants to play Bill Berg, an agitating defensive forward against Adam Green. So I'm, I'm still thinking, oh, what's the big gag, you know, what's going on? And he said, oh, he's in the coach's office. So I go around, sure enough, he was sitting there in the coach's office. And uh, he says, uh, Toronto picked you up on waivers. And I'm like, I was on waivers? <laughs> funny thing about it was, too, was that my agent got a hold of me later, and he says, what were you doing when he told you? I said, well, I was sort of giggling. And he says, yeah, because he said to me, he says, you know, for a guy that just got picked up on waivers, he was, he was like really happy. And I said, well, you know, going back home, you know, we're going back to Canada, and specifically Toronto, it was great. Bill, when he was traded to Toronto, he's mentioning just about coming home. How about yourself? Did you, when you heard, when he phoned you, number one, you said, I got to get packing and be ready in an hour and a half. Yeah. Uh, what was the second thing when you heard you're going to Toronto? I was jumping up and down on the bed. I, was, I, I thought it was the greatest thing in the world. I, we heard good things about Toronto, and it was close to home, and it was Canada, and I could, it was near my school. I went to McMaster, and I knew I could get back into my schoolwork, and so it was just, it was an incredible feeling. As soon as I got home from the practice, which was at about 3 o'clock, she had everything packed up in the house. She was so excited. And uh, we were on the road by 4.30, and we drove all night. I think we got in about uh, 3 or 4 in the morning. And then the next morning, we had to be up to get to practice at the gardens. And of course, the first thing we do is pick up the papers. <laughs> and I'm driving, and uh, Wendy's right beside me. She's looking over. Oh, yeah, here's a nice article. Bill Berg just picked up by Toronto, this and that. And then she looked at the one paper, and she stopped. I'm like, what? You know, what, what's going on? And she says, uh, you're not going to like it. I said, what can it be? If they pick me up, they want me, you know, they, they're excited. I just talked to Bill Water. He's, he was all fired up about me being on the team. She said, well, I'll, I'll, I'll just read it to you, she said. She read me the quote, and I'm like, oh, man. So then I get to practice, and uh, I'm skating around, and uh, the team had just lost in Chicago. Kicked away, Murphy! Chronic shoots, scores! So nobody talked to me before, and uh, we're, we're stretching in the room, and... Uh, Rick Wamsley pipes up and says, uh, hey, Bergie, uh, you know, Burns, you'll be out in the parking lot 15 minutes, watch out. <laughs> on top of the quote, then out on the ice, it was like he was so upset about the game, I thought, wow, what did I get myself into? But, you know, I went into his office afterwards, and he, he actually apologized about the quote and, uh, you know, said he was sorry about it. And uh, next, he explained, uh, you know, what he wanted out of me, and he was... He seemed so personable and everything. It, it was it was a really nice meeting. You know, he really made me feel like I belonged and they wanted me. And early box, long shot from the point, into the goal mouth, and banged in by Bird. Run at Bird. Stop.
Cooper and Bill Bird get into a scrap. The clear, Bird shot, nowhere near the net. Rouse picks it up. Center net. Score! Bill Bird! For a while, I've been thinking that I'd love to score two goals in a game, and uh, it just hasn't happened. And then scored the first one, and I was thinking, boy, it'd be great to get another one. Ahead to Zazzle. Bird to Zazzle. Bird to Gant. Yeah, that's the first time, and uh, to have it at Maple Leaf Gardens and to be a first start was just unbelievable. Should I call this? Because I think it's going to go in. So I call it, yeah. Okay, it's right here. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. You went for the red ball, you know? Yeah, I know. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Is that... Have Did you, you get that like, one on tape? Have you been stringing me Did along? Did you get that one on tape? <laughs> have you been stringing me along? Okay. <clears throat> uh, who else wants to see that I've set this one up to? <laughs> what about the Vancouver Canucks when they put a bounty on you, basically, that one game in Toronto? Does that mean, does that mean the whole bench is going at you? The coach is going at you? They throw out five goons? They jump you? Yeah. You love it? <clears throat> uh, the part I didn't like about it was that uh, Cliff Ronning was hurt. You know, because I really didn't go out with the intent of hurting him. But, uh, you know, if I, I, I really don't think that uh, he was prepared for the type of game that was being played that night. He wasn't ready for it, and he got hurt, and that's unfortunate. But when they, when they started coming after me, it's like, you know, you guys can do whatever you want to do, but I'm still going to stay out here and play. If you guys, if you guys want to spend so much time worrying about me, then Dave Anderchuk and Doug Gilmer sooner or later are going to sting you bad. McLean at center, Gilmer! Oddly enough, yeah, sometimes people recognize me <laughs> now, but... Uh, Do you have to walk by them a few times? Yeah, it's like, hey, you know, don't you see my leaf jacket? <laughs> but, uh... No, every once in a while, somebody will come up and you know, ask me if I play with the Leafs and that, and it, it is, it's quite a thrill, you know, that uh, the team is that well recognized and, uh, you know, for them to recognize me personally.